reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, If you know me, you know my Father too. From this moment, you know him and have seen him. Philip said, Lord, let us see the, see the Father and then we shall be satisfied. Have I been with you all this time, Philip, said Jesus to him, and still you do not know me? To have seen me is to have seen the Father. So how can you say, let us see the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak as from myself. It is the Father living in me who is doing this work. You must believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Believe it on the evidence of this work, if for no other reason. I tell you, most solemnly. Whoever believes in me will perform the same works as I do myself. He will perform even greater works because I am going to the Father. Whatever you ask for in my name I will do so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask for anything in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, I have counted it a great blessing to be with you these weeks and uh, and to see your, your love for God and your love for God's people. And on a day like today, what a privilege for us to be together, huh? 100 years of Our Lady of Fatima. Yesterday, Pope Francis, in, uh, in leaving uh, the Vatican and heading to uh, Portugal, he said, with Mary as a pilgrim uh, of, of hope and peace, I traveled to Fatima. Let us see in her that everything is God's gift. And God is, one, God is our strength. So there are many people here who are going to be pilgrims in a couple of weeks to Fatima. And in fact, all of us are pilgrims in some way. And I invite us all very consciously to be pilgrims of hope and peace. Join with our Holy Father as he leads the, the church throughout the world this very day to be people of hope and peace inspired by Our Lady of the Rosary. May 13, 1917. Three young, illiterate children were out in the field with their sheep and radiance happened. Mary appeared. In a stunning moment, helping the church to remember who we are. Three simple, illiterate children you think of the Holy Father inviting our church constantly now. The Holy Father is saying, please remember to go to the peripheries. Keep yourselves simple in your pursuit of real life. Keep yourselves simple. And so God, as God so often does, God appears to three simple people. 
and they have led us to try to be people of peace. I had a strange fantasy the other day is, what, if hap what would have happened if instead of these three simple illiterate children, God would have appeared to Donald Trump? <laughs> and what might have happened? I suspect he would have built a big luxury hotel, huh? And a big fancy golf cor course. But no, this is not about getting more stuff. This is about living a life worth living in peace and hope. This is a celebration of the basics. Faith, hope, charity prayer and penance, hunger for conversion, that gradually every day we can let the grace of God draw us toward a deeper life. It is Mary's maternal love that is offered to the world again today. It's Mother's Day. And it gives us all a chance to think about the power of a mother's love and the power of the love of Mary, mother of God, to draw us back to our center. This is a day in which we remember so clearly our salvation is not found in stuff. Do you, you believe that? Our salvation in my country more and more the stuff is going to a few people, and it's so sad. Our salvation is not found in stuff. Our salvation is not found in war. You think what was happening back in 1917, World War I, three years of rage happening. Also, thousands of Portuguese at this time were dying of, of starvation. Resources were so not available to the little people. Thousands were dying. And the government was so anti-Catholic between 1910 and 1916, 1,800 priests and nuns were killed. And Mary came to Portugal. Many times in the history of the world, when these things happen, what happens? Violence begets more violence, right? Violence begets more. You kick me in the shins once, I kick you in the shins twice. You kick me in the shins twice, I punch you in the nose once. You punch me, I punch you in the nose once, you punch me in the nose two times. Gandhi so famously said, if everybody believes an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, what will happen? The world is blind and Mary's maternal love comes to this world in the midst of all this suffering and all this violence and she says what stop stop pray the rosary keep yourself centered in what is life-giving not stuff not anger, not revenge, not war. Keep yourself centered in my son and you will live. Stop the cycle of violence. And she begged the Catholics of the world, pray the rosary. What a gift, right? day after day to go back and let our minds as we do the mantra of the Hail Mary full of grace, our minds go to these beautiful 20 scenes that can shape our hearts. Mary, the Annunciation, willingness to let God be her God, the visitation, Mary reaches out like we are called to reach out to one another. She reaches out to her to, to her cousin, birth, the, the great moment of glory in the heavens and forgiveness, mercy in the heavens as Christ is born. These stories, one after another, come to our mind and they call us back to stop this cycle, this compulsive cycle of getting more stuff. 
creating more violence, having more war, destroying God's earth. Come to my son, come to my child, and you will live. So today, two simple people, both of whom died before they were 10 years old, are being canonized as our saints. Asking the world, live simply. Live simply like them. Don't be so compulsive about things. Don't be so compulsive about violence. These are saints inviting us to live simply, fully, purposefully in God. So Our Lady of the Rosary is our Queen of Peace. And gratefully, this day, 100 years later, we crown her as the leader and guider of a way of peace and justice for our world. place of intercessions today we do the litany and let us really just invoke the intercession of our blessed mother in this time.
all of our hopes, all of our prayer that you can change our needy world and draw us all to you. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs>